in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit, spirit, brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Maria Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their leaders, after their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priest and the elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth, and the sea, and all that is in them. You said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain fully? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his own anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats, and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continue to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter fully? The kings of the earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his own anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is thrown in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. 
Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are those who take refuge in the Lord. Your blessings, Father. I will make you bless you to announce the gospel in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Hallelujah. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to your Lord. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing <clears throat> unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot reenter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born is spirit, is, uh, is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, and you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord. So Jesus tells us today, of course, that we must be reborn of water and the Spirit if we are to enter in the kingdom of heaven. He tells Nicodemus this, and of course Nicodemus is surprised. Most of you, I would imagine pretty, pretty much most all of you, were probably baptized as a child, as a baby. Um, I, was I was baptized as an adult. Uh, actually, I was in my late 20s when I was baptized. And one of the things that my priest, I remember my priest telling me that, yes, I am being reborn by water and spirit into the kingdom of God, into the Catholic Church. But not only is it a rebirth, it's a renewal. It's a renewal of my life. I can't live the way I used to live. I have to give up the things that I used to do and now I'm a new person, and I have to do the things that God wants me to do. And, and renewal is not just a one-day thing. Uh, a lot of us have had mountaintop experiences or uh, moments of great love and joy uh, for our Lord, but it's a daily renewal. Each day we have to get up and start again. We have to get up and and, and, and tell our Lord that we thank him for this day and, and, and forgive us for our sins and, and help us through this day. As I look back on my life, I see many, many times that I've had large renewals. I can look back on my time and see many, many times when I've stepped back uh, when I shouldn't have too. But it is overall as we progress on our daily lives to the kingdom as we move along this path that our Lord has us on, that we have to renew ourselves every day, that we have to give ourselves every day to our Lord. And if we do so, 
we will do what Jesus promises us, that we will have the kingdom of God. Amen. The risen Christ brought peace to his apostles as he showed them his pierced hands and side. Let us pray confidently in his name, knowing that he brings peace to us through his victory over death. For our church, that we may all remain faithful to the teachings of the apostles, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. For an end to the coronavirus and for those who are suffering from it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear God. our prayers. For peace throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For those who live in fear, that they might be set free by the promises of Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this pandemic, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are sick and who are dying, and for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for our Mass intentions today, for Father Abraham, the repose of the soul, Cecilia Ty, and for Father Joel, the repose of the soul of Mary Hope Munoz, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Almighty Father, your beloved Son has risen from the dead, as he promised he would do so. We rejoice because we believe in him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord establish sacrifice at your, at your hands. hands. For the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, for our good and good of all of his holy church. church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy the for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim in the name of the lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope Edward our Bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen, amen. at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will, will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven, heaven. give us this day our daily bread and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from <coughs> our evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who sit your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen. amen the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with your spirit lamb of god you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us, us. Lamb, lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb, lamb of god you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, world. grant us, us peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy you should enter into my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed
Amen. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord in your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.